and welcome to my DIY tentahedron hammock sand video part one. This is my semi-finished project as of now. Just wanted you to kind of see that it did come together. And I wanted to thank on Hammock Forums Lather Dome and also Harlan Lerum II. That's where I kind of got the recipe for this stand. So I used from, I went to Home Depot and this is four top rails. This is galvanized steel, 10 feet, six inches long. And I had them uh, cut in half. They're about 10 bucks each, so this is 40 bucks. And I didn't have to pay to have them cut. So I'm not sure if it, it was because I had to wait a long time or because I'm a lady or because I'm white. Like, I don't know why I wasn't charged this, but you might be. This guy though was amazing and he just had to cut the four pipes straight down the middle so each section was five feet three inches. Um, my recipe called for these aluminum rail ends um, which I ended up returning but then I bought again. Long story, we'll get to it. <laughs> this is the um, uh, quick zinc connectors that are 3 16 that I bought. And here again are those uh, rail ends and the eight eye bolts with nuts that are five and one sixteenth and three and one fourth inch long. That was about five dollars for those. So I wanted to use the rubber caps, but as you can see that the pipe is one and three eighths inch and those rubbers were um, like one and a half inch and they didn't work. So laying everything out, getting everything together, um, didn't know where to drill that first hole in, decided that three and a half inches sounded like a great place for the bolts to go in. So I ended up having a great neighbor, Tom, who has all these wonderful toys. So these were things I didn't have. I don't know what it's called, but it puts a little dent into the metal. So then when he drills, um, the, the bit doesn't slide around everywhere someone will be able to tell me what that is. So he used the drill press to be able to put the hole in at three and a half inches. And then he had this cool machine that flattened out the metal so the hole wasn't rough. And I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so here's the finished product. Prod, product. Um, but as you can see, that bolt sticks out a little. I used only one nut on one side. And he had... Uh, another cool toy with this saw cutter thing so he was able to splice off the rest of that nut and sparks were flying like everywhere it was it was really kind of awesome to see and he had these cool washers that he put on so the the nut isn't gonna slide off so here you can see that extra little bit of that bolt has been cut off and then we decided on the aluminum rail ends that are going to be on the ground to kind of cut that off and flatten them. So we took that top part off. You'll see a little later. Here's where I decided if I ever want to cut the, the posts down, I'm going to cut the top part. So I'm making sure that the bottom part has the, um, the smaller end. And I'll like where my finger's pointing, that's where I'll cut if I ever I want to make those rails smaller. This is the experiment. I don't know how long I really want to keep them. So here's the finished prod product on like the side that's going to be on the ground. So I'm going to call it like the left and right sides. You can see the bolts, you can see the nuts. Here's where I've laid it out. I'm really just wondering if it's going to hold me, but it does. It totally, it totally held me. It totally worked. I ended up putting my cat in there and about like a total of maybe 300 pounds and it all held, but it's flexed out way too wide. So I got to figure out how to, what to do and how to maneuver. Cause it's, it's with how I'm hanging the hammock. So here's a little video. I'm going to walk you through. This is what it looks like. It works. I'm just going to start tweaking. So I'm going to tweak the hammock suspension and then I'm going to tweak what I'm doing with the tarp. So this, uh, the galvanized steel, this whole setup is like 30 pounds. It's heavy. This is why I'm calling it the monster tensahedron stand. Like it is heavy. This is not a backpacking. This is in the car. This is for me. If I have no other options, I know I've got a stand that works. 
here's what you really want to see. So here you can see those aluminum rail ends. We added a screw on there to keep them in place. That was my neighbor's idea. Here you can see where that eye bolt comes through with the nut and I'll zoom around to the other side. And you can see where I've got that quick link zinc connector, which we actually um, had to drill, um, shave off a little bit because it wouldn't quite fit. And then I just took my carabiner straight to the eye bolts, which that is way too tight. I need to add more. So the total kind of grand everything added up for this monster tensahedron stand is about $70 where I'm sitting at right now. So there's a, a, a recipe. I keep saying recipe as if I'm baking, but I guess that's my baby. So um, I'm going to mess around to see the, the hammock. I got to add whoopee slings on there and figure out how to do the tarp. Those are next on my to-do list. So thanks for watching uh, the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm new at this. And a huge shout out to my neighbor, Tom. I could have not got this done in two hours if it wasn't for you. And to all those people on hammock forums who I've private message. Thanks for responding. Stay tuned for part two.